All right, so today I'm gonna to be making an A-frame shelter. I'm gonna be taking that there, putting it coming up the back onto the tree there. I'm gonna make spines up the side and then pad it on top for insulation. Uh, I've got to clear out a bunch of area around here. I've got to clear out all this basically, uh, make the floor really level. But yeah, get the A-frame up, get kind of like the bare bones of it to start with. And then I'm gonna get my fire going and I'm gonna be roasting me some bacon today, get some bacon butties on. So I'm going to be doing an A-frame today. Starting with this big boy. This is the main one. It's going to be going up the centre, just like that. It's going to be leaning up the back of the tree here. And then I'm going to put the uh, put the spines going up the side of it afterwards. I think I'm gonna get the saw because that's a lot less effort to saw through one of these and I'm uh, cutting through one of these chunky monkeys. That's gonna be a bit difficult. What I can do though, I can use this bit of pine that's on there, on the end of it. Maybe use that for a little bit of loft, chop them off. Much easier. These are so ingrown into the ground <laughs> that they're snapping to pull them out. Let's, uh, I'm gonna walk this way, see if I can get it. Always got to look where you're stepping here. So many bumps. Look at that. <laughs> Taking out earth. There we go. Time to take the rest of those limbs out. Get that A-frame in there. You can, uh, let's get the camera right. You can start to see where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna take this big long frame here. Put it all the way down there and then stack up the the ridges on the outside the ribs whatever you want to call them getting a bit of ground space now just got these three thick ones to get out i think after those three this one will be all right to stay here because uh it's going to come down from about here anyway come up like that so yeah get these three out and now i've actually got a bit of space so i've got to get rid of this whatever this is that seems soft that's good uh level this out Add some pine and stuff for loft. I'm not even worried about the bedding today because I'm not camping here. I'm just building it and getting a, getting some food cooking. Let's get the foundation of it done today. Let's try and do that. <laughs> this is the biggest one by far. I just want to jump and dive into that. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm starting to see is that there's a massive dip there. So what I think is going to happen, this log here is going to be the perfect length to go in that divot. It'll be perfectly secure up against this tree and uh, that'll be perfect actually. Oh, that is a pretty good fit to be fair. Not the tallest, but it's pretty good.
what the f this brick under there. Now we'll get into the yard stuff. Constant vines all around this big stone here. Gotta get this out because I don't want my head resting on that. Uh, gotta get all these vines out there. Absolute nightmare. Oh no. That looks like the layer for spiders. I'm not about that. Yes. No spiders in sight. I lied, there's one or two. One boy there and then one was running around here a second ago. <laughs> Boom! Look at this, it looks like a patch of stone. Boom. Oh! Okay, there's still a little little piece of stone, I think, but that's all good. I'm imagining just thousands of spiders just going brah! Now that I got that big stone out, starting to build up from the bottom here, uh, gonna get this all, all level, so I'm gonna bring this hump down here, bring this up a little bit to about there, and then we'll be completely flat, and then I'm gonna start like uh, getting the ribs up, and then tucking some insulation against the side before I even get the outing on. So after uncovering that stone, I've got a massive fuck off pile of clay here, so what I can do, I can actually use this for future projects. So watch out for a homemade stove, like fireplace sort of thing, something like that. I've got some bidstones over there from it. Maybe I could like start mashing them together with the clay. Actual clumps of clay. Amazing. Right, so it's only taken me about an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> I've finally got that flat now, flat enough. A massive pile of clay there. Got to get those ribs up, but right now, I'm thinking I'm going to start that fire and I'm going to get the food on because that's the main priority. There we go. Apparently we're going from the top down this time. Let's see if it works. There we go. Push it in a little bit. Oh, wrong way. That's more like it. Woo, that's hot. Just cut up some proper hardwood to go on this fire. I'm not playing with these uh, these flames now. Go on now.
I definitely think I got enough uh, Y supports for this. One here, one here, one there. Make sure it doesn't wobble at all. I'm not gonna get the rest of that done today. That'll be another day's work. One was awful. Ready for the bacon. Look at that getting nice and crispy there. Woof. Right, so that's the fire dying down now. Finished up now, just gotta take all of these off here so they don't fall on and burn up or something. Gotta pack all this stuff away here and then next time I'll get to utilizing all of this. But for right now, we've got the start of the A-frame. We got the first log there and we got a flat base. 